morning. I'm walking over here to get Prudence. It's 6 a.m. And I'm going to head to Valley of the Fire. So that was fun. I'm tired. I missed actually having my van. Um, there's a stratosphere in the background and the rest of Vegas. So yeah, it was very loud on the strip, on the Fremont Street last night. But anyway, I've never been up here. Like, I've been up here, I think, one time, I think, in 2008. But I've usually gone to just real Vegas. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm glad to be back. Uh, it's a shame that you can't sleep in your camper vans here. There was a bus over here. I guess they kicked them out. Um, oh, no, the bus is still there. Um, it's a shame you can't park overnight because um, you can get a pass for these lots for $60 a month, which if you're in Vegas for any reason, working or something, that would be perfect. You just sleep in this parking lot in your van, but unfortunately they don't let you for some reason. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm gonna go now to Valley of the Fire. I'm very hungry and thirsty and I need a chai. I am done with my hikes. And there's Bucky. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna drive 30 miles now into Henderson and go to Planet Fitness and take a shower. And that should put me in about noon. And then I think I'm just gonna chill for a bit and then head over to the Strip. So I think I need to be at the Mirage at like 6 p.m maybe like an hour early around that time. Um, so I'm probably gonna head to the strip around four, but I think I'll probably do laundry as well. Uh, just kind of, you know, knock that out because tomorrow morning I'm driving to a um, couple more places on the way down the 15 and then staying in Arizona and going to uh, Quartzsite just to see what it's about. I'm not gonna stay, there's really not a lot to do, um, but probably go through Lake Havasu um, and then over on the 10 toward Palm Springs. So tomorrow night, I'm hoping to be in Palm Springs. Um, I think I've pretty much done everything I can do in, in Las Vegas that I haven't done before. Um, so yeah, really, really, really good time um, being out here. The, the outdoor wilderness stuff is, that's my police guy. Out, outdoor wilderness stuff is really fantastic. And the weather is perfect. It's been in the 50s and 60s the whole time. I cannot imagine being out here in the summer when it's 110 degrees. Or even more so yeah perfect time of year it's been colder this year it seems like it's been colder longer um, than last year because it's already almost April next month actually on Saturday it'll be April 1st on Saturday and I just feel like this year has been a lot um, a lot colder longer which is good so no complaints for me anyway so there's the Hoover Dam three miles away um, you can see it from the hike um, and now I'm just gonna go uh, go drive back really like fast downhill where am I going so okay now I'm fine <laughs> I just I've been hiking so I got like spaghetti legs right now so it takes a minute for me to to get back into driving mode when I've been hiking that was a fantastic hike highly recommend it it's a Liberty Bell hike you're not allowed dogs on the trail there's a couple with a dog and I, I didn't say anything but don't bring dogs on the trail if it says ah shoot if it says no dogs don't bring dogs on the trail there's a reason um, but anyway, really good, uh, lots of like um, hiking, you know, different trail systems, you can kind of choose your own adventure, um, but also the hot springs are there. It looked like there was tons of groups of people when I just left the parking lot. The whole parking lot was full, uh, which seems to be a constant theme of the hiking here, is that I'm the only person hiking when I start, and when I get back to the parking lot, it's totally full with tour groups and uh, school groups. So yeah, get to every place early. Uh, sunrise is about 6 a.m. here around this time of year so yeah I highly recommend starting early finishing early um, and yeah it's uh, it's only like 11 a.m. no 11:30 a.m. and I'm done for the day so now I can just go shower sh shower and shave <laughs> uh, do my laundry and then just like chill out for the rest of the day I don't know if I'll get any videos done I tried yesterday but I was so tired I literally just went to bed at 8 o'clock so um, tonight's going to be a longer night, so I'll just probably chill while my laundry's being done and maybe uh, at least I'm like organizing my videos on my computer, like getting all the, the clips in order and like labeling them and, you know, renaming and stuff. So at least I'm doing that. Um, oh, I'm on the bridge. Okay. So the Hoover Dam's right there. I'm on the bridge, the walkway that you can walk across. And I was like, what are these people doing on here? Yeah. So, okay. So now I'm heading into Nevada. And I'm about to cross into Nevada right now. And Nevada, is it gonna tell me on my phone that I'm in Nevada? Yeah, so sometimes like on in like the fall, 
Arizona doesn't change their clocks, so sometimes you're back and forth between time zones. Um, but I'm actually in the same time there in Arizona and here in Nevada. So I've been driving in circles trying to look for outdoor parking that's not $50 a day and I'm behind a limo. Sorry, Chapel of the Flowers. Okay, let me get out of here. This is too fancy for me. I don't know. Where do I go? I guess I'll go to convention center. I don't really care. I'm going to walk anyway. Okay, the only lot close to the Mirage, which isn't really that close, is at the Link, which is where this uh, Ferris wheel is, which isn't moving. It's probably, oh no, it is moving. It takes an hour to go through that thing. I know exactly when I get on there, it's like I'll be needing the toilet. Anyway, um, so I parked here and um, I'm gonna walk over. This is actually good because I can start in Caesars. Um, I'm gonna do some shopping or window shopping, one of the two, and then kind of work my way up. So maybe start at the Bellagio and then uh, just get up to the Mirage. So it's uh, three o'clock, so I've got three hours. I will get something to eat. I'll treat myself and Prudence is secure. Okay, so off I go. I think I'll go this way. There's Haraz. For some reason I thought Haraz was down there. Oh no, I know where I am. Okay, Haraz and then um, the Link and then Caesars is right there. The Venetian. Okay, so yeah, the convention center's over there. It's another, um, it's another, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's a lot of um, van lifers over here, actually. This is the only lot. It's $18 for 24 hours, which is not that bad um, since it's a weekday. It's $23 on the weekend. So well worth it. I mean, I could valet it, but I don't trust valet. <laughs> not with my van. Okay. All right, let's go. So just to clarify, I'm in Vegas on my own, which is perfectly fine. I've been all over the world on my own. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go shopping, get something to eat, and uh, people watch. So that's so all we can really do here. This is good. I like Caesars though. I always stay at Caesars or MGM Grand. Um, but this time I stay in my van. So uh, it's only a short walk, maybe 10 minutes over here from the parking lot. And then the Mirage is right next door. And the Bellagio is right over there. So it's good. The whole place smells like cigarette smoke. At least it's a little bit less divey than uh, going to, um, what is it, the Fremont Street, where is that? And I don't drink, so no drinking. So what am I gonna do? <laughs> How am I gonna numb myself from this experience? Actually, it's not very busy. It's uh, the end of spring break, or the week after spring break. And uh, yeah, I've been here a bazillion million times. So I'm gonna go to the forum shops, go get something to eat. I want to treat myself. I want something fancy. I might actually put like $10 in a slot machine, but I need to play Wheel of Fortune. That's the only one that I play and the only one that I actually like win anything on. And it goes, Wheel of oh, Fortune. I've eaten there. Vista Cocktail Lounge. It's really good. They had a um, hibachi steak thing that came out on a hot stone. So let me find... I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I in Vegas on my own? I'm just avoiding making eye contact with anybody. There's like all these groups of guys like carrying drinks, like they're trying to look for girls. I'm like, nope, not me. Go away, piss off. This is interesting. This is the Cronut. And uh, I had this in New York. It's very famous. It's a donut that's made out of like a croissant. And I've been to the original uh, Ansel Bakery. Yeah, this is the Cronut. It's phenomenal, but I'm not that hungry. It really is very good though, if you have a chance to get a cronut. And all these uh, people are buying not a cronut. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. That's why I like Caesars, because then they have the Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill, which has a decent fish and chips, even though it looks nothing like a fish and chips in um, England. Nothing in America looks like England. But anyway, this is a good restaurant. And then um, the Coliseum. So I'm gonna go walk around and do some shopping maybe get a lemonade because I'm four years old. <laughs> I'm like the anti-social, not like anti-social, but I'm like, I don't need to like be with a whole group of people to have any fun. <laughs> so, I'm like, why am I walking around by myself? The eyes in the sky up there are watching me going, this woman is walking on her own in the casino. She has no friends. All right. Okay, first thing is I'm gonna find a lemonade. Oh, they have crepes, so they have Starbucks. I come all the way to Vegas to 
get a Starbucks. That's crazy. So I realized I can't afford anything in here except a $10 Frappuccino. <laughs> and they wouldn't even let me... What are you doing, sir? They wouldn't even let me uh, scan my points or use my free Frappuccino. Anyway, this is fun. Just walking, looking at my camera and walking at people. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm killing time before the show. Okay, I'm yet to find food. There's a sushi place down here. Or I might go to the Mirage. I've never, like, been to the Mirage except to go to the show, so I don't know anything about it. I just know there's a whole bunch of restaurants down here. It's also the Venetian, but that's across the street. I don't know if I have time to go over there. But yeah, this is all right. <laughs> Random and weird. I live in a van, people. Yeah. <laughs> I live in a van. I got my like heels on and my jeans. I'm walking. I need my flip-flops and hiking boots. with Harriet I was here at the Black Hat uh, cybersecurity conference and she was so sleepy and so tired and this picture I was with my mom and my mom took this photo and it was so sweet and I think we stopped at this little restaurant because it's the only place where um, I could sit down quickly and we just sat there and it was really sweet just to like have her totally oblivious to what's going on around her so much like I am so anyway I'm gonna go back to the Gordon Ramsay restaurant um, I think I'm gonna eat there and yeah it's hard because like I've suddenly like lost my appetite because I can't stand cigarette smoke and there's like cigar shops and people smoking but I think I'm gonna go check out something that's not the palm <laughs> they had one in Houston actually um, when Harriet was a year old or something her father and I had a $150 coupon to go eat at the Palm, so we did. And it, our meal still cost us like $300. And I remember I had like a three pound lobster and all I wanted to do was like nurse Harriet and go to sleep because I was so tired being a new mom. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go sit and get something easy and back in the casino. This is fun. It's so warm in these casinos that they have the heat on and it's just like, they need some air conditioning in this place, Las Vegas in the winter does not have air conditioning all right gordon ramsay's over here i've eaten there before I'm not really fancying fish and chips and this big long line here for this restaurant to open oh that's vanderpump okay never mind <laughs> it's like a tv show about that all right i'm gonna go walk past the uh, starbucks i want to put like ten dollars in a machine before i go watch the show and i still have i think two hours before i have to head over to the mirage so just want to sit down, eat some food, uh, pseudo British food, go find a Wheel of Fortune. Oh, there it is. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I'm going to go play this for like two minutes. I got to win my gas money back from uh, California. Oh no, it's busy. Okay, he's leaving. Let's see, the table is hot, table is cold. I don't know anything about that. Are you leaving? Okay. Wheel of Fortune. So I actually don't gamble and I don't know how this machine works. If I put my credit card in, it takes all of my money. Or maybe I just put cash in. I have like $3 in cash. All right, let's try that. Okay, I put $5 in. Let's see if I want anything, probably not. Okay, I lost $10 and won 14 cents. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat. Okay, it's raining. I'm outside because I'm too warm in there. I had uh, Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips for dinner, just to keep with the British theme, but it wasn't even fish and chips. Um, I'm now walking in the rain. I don't know why I curled my hair. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna walk over to the Mirage. I probably could have gone through Caesars, um, but it's right over there. So yes, it is raining. I can get in this way. Okay, should be able to get over there. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm back outside. <laughs> It's raining a little, but the Mirage is right there. You can't actually get to the Mirage from Caesars without going outside. 
um, but you can get to the Mirage from the Bellagio without going outside. All right, I'm tired. <laughs> Walking too much and I ate too much. It's all good. So yeah, I'm just gonna go hang out at the Mirage for a little bit. Um, I'm not drinking, so can't really just sit at a bar. Although I had chatted to some person who was going on about, I don't know, whatever boring job he did. <laughs> so, and I'm like, dude, I'm trying to stuff my face with food. Can you like stop talking to me about accounting and being an accountant and doing accounting things in Minnesota? Actually, it feels much better being outside now that it stopped raining and uh, it's a lot cooler. For some reason, as I said before, why do the casinos have the heat on? I know they're supposed to like pump like fancy scents through the air so that you like gamble more. But anyway, so I'm back at the forum shops. Probably could have just walked through. Is that guy still alive? Holy crap, he's like 90 years old. <laughs> it's funny, Vegas is the place where I'm like, okay, that person didn't die. Okay, they're alive. All right, next one. Anyway, okay, walking down. I have to walk all the way back this way tonight. We'll probably go on the other side um, to get back to the van. And I don't know if I can just sleep in the van in the parking lot. I might be able to do that. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to knock on windows. There's a ton of camper vans in there. But I parked pretty close to the uh, entrance of the parking lot. So I may... I don't know. I'll see. Okay. I'm in the shop, but I'll get demonetized because of music playing. Okay, this is my haul. I got a whole bunch of stuff and an umbrella that was on sale. Um, since it is raining and it was only like 20 bucks, the rest of it was a little bit more. <laughs> so my daughter is going to have to get a scholarship. But the Beatles store is right there. And um, sorry, Harriet, you'll understand why mommy's obsessed with the Beatles. <laughs> so excited. So I got a printed ticket as well for a souvenir. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm here by myself. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to go in about 6.10. We can sit down and the show starts at 7. And I think it lasts like an hour and a half maybe, two hours? I don't know, super excited. Oh, it better be good. <laughs> anyway, but I got some other stuff, some other merch. I've got Harry the t-shirt um, and myself a sweatshirt and a Beatles pillow and a bunch of magnets. So a lot of stuff for Prudence to really get her decked out. And I'll do a proper band tour um, when I, you know, have the ability to like film professionally and not just like amateur hour like I'm doing right now. Super fun. Oh, I'm so glad I'm here. Had such a good week in Vegas. All the hiking, all the um, you know outdoor stuff, and now I'm here <laughs> being demonetized because the Beatles music is playing. So. I'm the only one here for the show, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm the only person here for the show. There's no other audience members. <laughs> it's just me. So just a heads up, I had them change my ticket because I was way down in the front and my spinal injury and my neck will not survive two hours of looking up at people coming out of the ceiling. So they moved me up here. So I'm up here with all the uh, cool people. Super awesome, this is much better. I think when I saw the show in 2015, I was in the front row, which was equally good, but this, this is better to be all the way up here. Yeah, I cannot be down in the front row. So they changed it and they didn't charge me anything different. So yay me. Um, so for a disabled accessibility, disabled accessible activities, if you do find yourself in a bind, Cirque du Soleil will actually accommodate you. So thank you, Cirque. Love you already.
Okay, I need to figure out how to get to the Ferris wheel. I think it's called the High Roller. Okay, I have no idea how to get out of this place. This is crazy. The High Roller is this way. So this is the link. This is uh, this used to be the not Tropicana that still exists. Um, oh, what was this called? I'll put it on the screen. This used to be something else that shut down that was real divey. Okay, High Roller. Uh, so I actually have no idea how to get out of here. <laughs> this is why when you go to Vegas solo and you're done with the show, you go home. <laughs> you don't go out because that would be weird. All right, uh, I think it's back here. It should be in the back here somewhere. No idea. Is it back there? Okay, that's right. I walked in this like promenade area. So just go out the door, outside, and I go down this little main street. And there it is. Okay, cool. There's, there's the first wheel, but there's also Prudence. I really just want to go home. <laughs> All right, am I hungry? Yes, do I want ice cream? Yes, but I have to use the restroom as well. Oh, that's cupcakes? No, okay, I don't want cake, I want ice cream. I don't want candy either. Uh, or tequila. Yeah, I think, <laughs> all right, that's too much for me. I'm too old for this. Oh my God, I see Prudence. Her alarm's been going off the whole night, <laughs> pretty much. I don't know if the alarm turns off after like a few minutes, but I see her. There she is. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go drive to uh, Enterprise, which is uh, not a car company here. <laughs> uh, drive to Enterprise, which is um, literally like 30 minutes from here. Go park up outside of the apartment complex where I've been parking and go to bed and go check out my merch, which I have here. Okay, cool. You can see all the camper vans. <laughs> I don't know how many are just gonna spend the night here. Too loud for me, it's too much like Fremont Street. Just a heads up, this is the view from my toilet. <laughs> I'm sitting in the back here. My curtains are half open and that's the monorail. And the link, um, windmill, no, come on Jenny. The Ferris wheel is to my right and the bottom half of the strip is to my left. And straight ahead is the Bellagio on the other side of the street. It's only nine o'clock, I could stick around, but I'm tired and I would like to go to Arizona tomorrow. So thank you for um, joining me on this very fun Vegas solo today. I'm tired and I'm gonna go home. <laughs> so really nice. I mean, it's actually not too busy right now and it's not, the rain has stopped and it's nice and cold outside. So I should sleep pretty well. Okay, night-night.